What's going on, guys? So here we find ourselves, another lovely day, January 22nd. So I am just on here getting onto Coin Market Cap. If you're unfamiliar with the world of crypto, I, in my personal opinion, four years in this, five years in this, Coin Market Cap is the number one resource. Okay. Um, these guys are going to be exchanged. They're going to be the last to go. Not, maybe not the last exchange, but we got the lead runner out here, the most stable encrypted programming language out there. Uh, pretty stable, up and down movement, 1.8%. Let's take a look and see who's moved the most today. Ethereum is another good bet for those who don't know. Let's see, actually take a look at what the most changed. So Tether, if we go back and we see what's actually moved the most number of dollars, we can see that Tether is number one over Bitcoin. So you can see that most people go into Tether to trade. So that is essentially the stable coin of this whole crypto universe. Now we'll get off the volume. We're going to go ahead and look who's fluctuated the most. Who's had the most wins. If you are a bag holder of swipe. Swipe. You did good. 20% returns. Nerveos Network. Boom. 20% returns. You saw this cut out. Boom. And you got in because the risk was low. Because the downside, it's down here. So your risk is not very much. But the upside paid off for you folks. All right. So if you're new to it. That's the number one coin market cap. Okay. Now, if we go over here into the search, you can search up massive amounts because there are so many different cryptocurrencies. And these are just encrypted uh, website programming language. A website speaks JavaScript. Somebody's programmed it. It created a language with math and encryption locks it all together. All right. So this is the one I want to talk about today. So coin telegram. So about Telegram, it's an open network. It aims to melt features, I'm going to say melt, of messaging platforms with cryptocurrency and blockchain. So it's fast, it's secure, it's a scalable blockchain network, and it's basically like the Twitter of it. That's how I like to think about that stuff, okay? So <clears throat> we took a look at that. Oh, I do want to throw this in here, guys. If you think that it's pointless, you can get a basic prepaid debit card. You have money on an exchange in crypto in a hard wallet. You, you cash out a chunk of it and preload it onto a card to spend in real life. It's here, you guys. If you did not know, uh, you know, five years into it, it's here. And it totally point blank in my opinion. Now, another healthy thing to keep in mind, there's some other great platforms. One of them being Coindesk. If it'll ever load, it is attached to my pixel. I'm about to go get my keto gym workout on, though. You know that? <clears throat> I'm go ahead and get all these guys spinning. So this is what happens when somebody smashes your car window and steals your desktop PC. You go and on the fly get a new desktop PC. Is that probably a, a audacity? So here we go. Coindesk. This is my personal number one outlet. If you want daily news, we got Mark Zuckerberg on here. <laughs> Just playing, guys. Just playing. Swiss banks. This is the one I want to talk about today. Enter a new age of Bitcoin. Now, if you don't know, Switzerland is close to the Middle East. Just like India is close to the Middle East. An emerging trend in wealth stashing Switzerland crypto-friendly. So, maybe you've heard, but today India is talking that Bitcoin... Bitcoin is illegal. They are accepting it. They have a lot of harder money, a.k.a. gold. It is in their culture. So their citizens don't relinquish gold very easy. They wear it as jewelry. It's a store of wealth for heritage and family looms. So although some bankers see it as a minority, blah, 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 the universal banking license so that people can store crypto custody. So, you know, most this stuff spreads, you know. Here's Bitcoin. They're not banned in India. This was yesterday. I remember hearing about this because this is this is the future. This is my life. This is where it's at. The uh, um, Reserve Bank of India denies banning Bitcoin, Bitcoin and crypto outright, but banks 
are going to be restricted. Right. Okay. So still legal for them to uh, invest in virtual assets. So what I see happening is they will make it legal uh, with restrictions and the public will be fine. But then they'll cut out the public and then just keep it legal with the banking and restrictions. That's just my opinion. But they have enough wealth where they can make the transition to paper uh, harder assets, digital hard assets. Now, Telegram. This is from what I mentioned earlier. Telegram has a token and is currently being gobbled up by, I think, the guy who invented um, Tron. Justin Sun, maybe, is his name. Telegram is... This is the Twitter. This is the communication. Here we go. Web, the website's Google. Telegram Messenger. Private Telegram messages are heavily encrypted and can self-destruct. Fast uh, delivers messages faster than any other application. So it's it, it's a real platform. It's legitimate, you guys. It's been here for seven years. This thing and it works flawlessly. This is Web 3.0. This is you can trust end to end. You know, no funny business. Um, and if you don't understand this, I'm about to kind of explain a little bit underneath the surface with Bitcoin cryptocurrencies. It uses math. And it creates, you can create language using this math. So this is called an unspent transaction output. So now this is locked. So imagine this block completely locked. You and I are here. The output is you. The input is me. I'm going to spend money to you. I give it to you. I plug in my hard wallet, which validates the, my keys to unlock this previously locked transaction because we're here. So it goes and it checks with my key. And it says, yep, it unlocks it. And then my, then the second you enter your key, it takes what was once locked with my keys and it trades it. And, and it spends from my wallet and it goes over to your wallet and it locks. It locks off with your new keys. So now when you're here, you're, in, in, you're going to put an input to spend this. It's locked. It's now locked with your keys. So this is how these things work, you guys. Um, you know, definitely get ahead because great people are talking about it. Like Ray Dalio. He's on here. He's on here somewhere saying trash is cash. This guy manages a hundred and like eighty billion dollars. I mean, we're talking global pools of liquid liquidity that slosh around continent to continent, always looking for a yield. That's called a whale. When it gets into your market, they try not to let you see it because that drives price up they have a lot of money to put in and buy it up and drive the price up so it's hard for them to get yield when you're so big ray dalio warns trash is cash i saw this on my feed 15 hours ago i see this okay so keep in mind you guys you know if you're not going to be in cash if you're not going to be in fiat if whatever you are holding is denominated in usd rmmb Yen, whatever, whatever. You know, you just got to think about these things. So, this is not foreign stuff. Everybody's talking about it. You can check out RT News. Anyways, guys, hope that helps. And goodbye for now.